former status. I cannot possibly cover everything in his introduction, but here's a sketch of his achievements. Paul graduated from the University of Toronto in engineering and business. He is a master plumber, master heating installer, and master gas fitter. He is retired as owner and CEO of RG and Sun Limited Mechanical Contractors. This company is known to be one of the most advanced and valuable service companies in his sector. Most of us know Paul as an honorary life member of RCYC, a singular honor. He has held many positions in the sailing world. He was a member of the International Olympic Committee, <coughs> President of the International Sailing Federation, and President CEO for the Toronto 1996 Olympic bid. He has been a technical delegate for sailing in four Olympic Games, five Pan Am Games, and was ISAF president for Sydney and Athens. His own sailing career has included being a member of the Canadian Olympic team for four Olympic Games. He started sailing, by the way, at eight, when his mother put him in, what was the name of that boat? Sabbath. In a Sabbath. Stuck him in Toronto Harbor, pushed him off, and said, make sure you come back for dinner. <laughs> and today we can't have eight-year-olds walking across the street. He has been a technical delegate, um, no, just a minute. He was Canadian national champion seven times, USA national champion four times, and champion in Bermuda, Holland, and North America. And more recently, Paul placed third in the 2017 Sharp Worlds. He has held various positions from president to member and founding member in various organizations, including the Toronto Racquet Club, Harborfront Disabled Sailing Association, the Water Rat, and Outer Harbor Sailing Federation. Paul was inducted into the Canadian Olympic Sports Hall of Fame in 2001 and the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame in 2019. And as I said, this bio is a sketch. I've omitted many of your achievements. So please give Paul a warm Shellback welcome. Well, as a usual, when I arrived here, everybody said, what the hell are you doing with a tie on? <laughs> well, this is the Whitbread tie, which was given to me, not in this race, but the next one. And um, this movie, has an incredible message. And I hope that you will watch it and see what the overall message is. Barb, who's sitting at the end of the table, said that if you want to answer a lot of the questions, there it's all up in the interviews on the internet. So, see it. This is incredible because some, we, could, they, we call us all old farts. We call all the old women old tarts, but this was done by a 26-year-old woman who said she didn't want to sail around the world any longer as a cook. So she put together the whole uh, crew to sail around the world. It's a hell of a message she told. When you see the movie, there's a couple of things I want to bring up because some of you are going to be very upset with what Bob Fisher says and, and Barry Pickle, who are the great UK journalists. All they were trying to do is tell you what people were saying against what these women were doing. They are were great supporters, so don't get mad at them. When they go into Fort Lauderdale, boy, that's one of the great things. And then when they go down to Solo, when they finish the race, there will not be a dry eye in this room. And I'd like to say, watch the big man who is presenting the trophy. They don't tell you who it is. It is Sir Peter Blake. Sir Peter Blake was the Kiwi who ran the Auckland America's Cup in 2000. I had terrible arguments with him. But at the end, he put his arm, he's a big man, he put his arm around my shoulder and said, let's go have a beer. And he was killed going up the Amazon by pirates. And he was a hell of a great guy. Anyway, this movie started sailing to change. These, these girls. Women, excuse me, they're absolutely right. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. At 85, I mean, 
Anyway, the, uh, because what happened is, when I became a partner in the world in 94, sailing was the worst dual gender sport in the Olympics, 19% women. The last one I had anything to do with was 2008, and we we're up to 46% women and equal medals. And the reason was, if the women feel comfortable in our sport, the whole sport will grow. And this is what these women started in 1990. It's a great, great movie, great message. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. So you can turn the microphone off now if you want.